talents in music. And she's going to perform for us. And, she's going to us. and you're welcome to, to ask questions. And this is kind of a, 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 a comfortable, uh, casual type of a venue. Please welcome Basma Shepard. Thank you. I don't know if it's in tune because it just got off the plane. to perpetuate their lifestyles um, of, you know, wearing black coats, black hats, same traditions as they uh, had in Eastern Europe. So it was a very Ashkenazi background. My parents, at some point, they split, which does happen in the ultra orthodox world. And my father married a woman, and her previous husband had been Syrian Sephardic. So I suddenly had a family. Our doorpost was Shechter, that's my last name, and Aboud. So we were the Shechter Abud family, and I used to sing, you know, like, Mit Biel, Mit Biel, and they would sing, E Nadir Ki Adonai, En Baruch Ki Ben Abarra, Min Kedushan Katorra. So they sang so differently, but it was very easy for me to, like, get those influences from a very young age. So I had the total Ashkenazi Yiddish background, and plus my father liked Israeli music, so I had that, and then all of a sudden I had a Sephardic step family. So that was some of my early influences musically, even though I wasn't a musician. They don't train in Beisakov in the ultra orthodox community. They don't give you any background in becoming a musician because they don't want you to become a musician. They want you to learn how to cook and clean and be a parent. So obviously I'm an enormous failure, according to my community, um, according to those terms. But that's, you know, there's always different, uh, different measures. For a long time, I tried to leave the Jewish world so hard, like I, I couldn't stand it. Like I was just like, get me out of here. I don't want to go to another synagogue. I don't want to say another Jewish word ever. <laughs> and I tried really hard to like, kind of ignore that this was a part of me. And I think at some point I realized that I am so indoctrinated from such a young age, and it's just it's so part of me. it's so part of every part of me that it's going to come out, and it comes out whether I want it to or not. Thank you. 